Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer version 5. Very nice, very nice indeed. Very excited to get going on this campaign again. It's been pretty fun so far. <laughs> we have a few uh, Dolgador rats on the way, but we are sieging down Elanin up here, so I can't see... You know, the Morgul rats sticking around too long at Santan. We, we are down here fighting Mordor as well with Al, uh, Avalyn. I keep calling Alvin. <laughs> Alvin the Mighty Elf! Uh, but Avalyn, <laughs> should I say. We've got an unhappy uh, Mataram. We've got an unhappy Enmahath. Ah, but oh well. Who really cares? We're on the conquest. We're on the warpath. And we are going to fight some filthy Morgul rats down here. So let's get it going. It says that it's in their favor, but if we look at their actual units, pretty trash, really, aren't they? We have some decent units in here. Not too many archers. Oh, God, yeah. They don't even have they don't even have generals. As soon as their generals are dead, they're going to run. So let's see whether it works out like that, which it probably won't now have said it. But anyway, let's see. I will see you on the battlefield, guys. Here we are, guys, and I've sorted out everyone already. Very nice uh, indeed. But first things first, before we get into the battle, guys, we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed already, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in one of my Darwinian infantry regiments and use you as a meat shield when assaulting a city. So please do subscribe. It really does help the channel out. But let's get going before you get put into... That meat shield infantry unit. Uh, so let's just, you know, we're going to go slowly. I should also really start using groups now as well. I'm a big boy. I can use groups. Everyone comments about the fact that I don't use groups all the time. But I think on, you know, Rome Remastered, it's not really necessary. On here, probably a little bit more. And especially when you get onto, like, Rome 2, it's 100% necessary to do so. So what we're going to do, we're going to come forward. We don't need to worry about cavalry. They've got zero cavalry. So uh, we can run rampant with our cavalry, really. Uh, we've got our guys up here. Let's get them forward. And uh, let's speed it up. And hopefully it's not so laggy today. Like it's been a couple of the times. I think it just was because of the amount of units on the field and with the, you know, sort of cities... Uh, it's always a bit laggier on a city, especially when bits of the city get sort of damaged. But here they go. Firing into the enemy. Let's get back a bit. Uh, backwards, please. <laughs> Not forward. Dragging them into the fight. Dragging them into the fight. And we're going to try and use all our ammo before we even get close to these boys. You can see how much faster some of these boys are. Why are the Thorn Guards so fast? They should be slow. They just took less time to react. Thorn Guard once again proving its worth <laughs> as a glorious unit. These guys are just being so dumb. What are they doing? <laughs> this is literally just a Moranon Guard unit as well. I mean, it's better firing into that than it is into an Orc band, so can't complain too much. All the units, there's not really any high value units here apart from the generals. And it's that. Is this their general? Bro! What are they doing with that general? They just want him to die, don't they? Uh, what I think I'm going to do for the rest of you. Get you on run. I mean, this general being very dumb, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Especially when there's elves about, bro. Do you really want to do this? If we can charge him now. Right in that left-hand side, boys. Right in the left-hand side. Kill that general. Now back out. Back out. We're getting fired at. Who are we actually getting fired at? Orc hunters, probably. Hardly lost any men in that. Hopefully we never lose that. <laughs> that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Where did his general... His general's there. Is that his general? A temple knight? I mean, it must be. Unless that's the captain... I thought it would be an orc. Well, they got two temple knights. They must be the captains. Where is the orc man? Oh, that must be the general. Unless I'm being exceedingly dumb. 
Which is very, very possible. Let's... <laughs> he really, really has screwed himself a lot there, hasn't he? So if we can do one big charge and run through them. Hopefully not touch this orc host too much. They're just coming in. Yeah, there we are. Oh, there he was. He was an actual orc. Good. We just didn't see him. Now get out, boys. Get out. And you can keep on firing however much you want. They're just going to charge straight into the middle of us. As usual. And it is a bit laggy. I, I don't know where this lag is coming from. All my settings are completely normal. What I normally use. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But it is a bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised this Moran and Guard wants to come and party. Uh, we'll get you guys down here now. Just so you're out of the way of that Moran and Guard. They can keep coming in to, to charge at us. They're really not going to do much damage against these Thorn Boyos. We've seen how good they are. You guys have got your Javis ready as well. Now we've got these guys in the fight. We can get... Uh, those boys around the flank to do all the flanking. What is this? Orc Maulers? Really? You're gonna try and mess. There we are. It's a bit smoother now. It's just the movement of the camera. Everything else is fine. Watching it is fine. Those Maulers have just been mauled. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. That is, that is terrible. Terrible. Terrible for you. <laughs> Oh, dearie, dearie me. What a terrible, terrible unit you are. Now we need to get Avalyn and the boys ready to charge in the back of these men. Not men, orcs, should I say. Uh, and let's just do the same thing we did to the last orc mauler unit. Right, you, know, you guys need to come round the flank. We're getting a bit shot by the orc scouts. It's not a problem. Come on, boys. Get in there. Nice, nice, nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. Very cool indeed. Right, let's go. Let's go. Right, boys, get in there. Have they started running yet? Not quite. What are you? You're my boys. So, we'll get round. That's the Blade Masters charging in the back. Very cool. Yeah, we've broken those boys. Well, they've all broken. They've all broken. They've literally all broken. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Very nice. Get in the back of these. This is a feeding frenzy, boys. Orc flesh for all the men. And the elves, of course. Don't forget the elves. Captured him. <laughs> Don't care about that. Just chop his head off. Um, well, we're going to chase them down, of course. There's no point not. We might as well try and kill all of them. We've not killed anywhere near enough of them. They just routed. You guys go after them. You guys go after this blob. You guys can probably come after this blob as well. Get you there. And say you here. And let's speed it up. Kill this massive blob of men, of orcs, please. There's so many of them. Kill all the blobs. Kill the blobs. Kill those blobs. Kill all the blobs. Those guys are going to get away, probably. That's fine. There's only 35 of them. Have we killed enough yet? Should be. 98% now. So, let's exit. Good, good result. <laughs> oh, the start of the Orc Hordes is here, boys. <laughs> oh, some good result. Thorngard again showing their true glory. Uh, Rovanian Riders, the Avari, Nah Avari Naharim. Very, very nice indeed. Thorngard doing fantastically once again. Very good indeed. Well done, guys. Fantastic. The Orc Hordes are here. We shall see you on the other side. Here we are. And, you know, of course we're going to execute. Hopefully that kills both of them. Yep, it does. Well done, boys. <laughs> Glorious victory for Avelyn once again. Let's stick a watchtower down. It's not the greatest watchtower. Oh, really, really do want... He has a dwarven friend as well. Oh, that's nice. Avelyn's got his, his own little, uh, little Gimli. 
Uh, he also despises Easterlings and despises Orcs. <laughs> Glorious. And he's a brave, brave man. Very nice, indeed. Um, so Dars Gurum is our next target. The one big, you know, the one big scare we might have is if that army of, uh, you know, the Inquisitor's army comes along. So I could really do with a diplomat down here. I think we've got enough money for one. And we can get one from Mistrand. Unless, yeah, our, our other diplomat is miles away. Where actually is he? Norway, Norway the gossip. We should come down and speak to Rohan. We've not spoke to them yet. Fangorn, we've reached. Very good. Not actually that far away from there, really, are we? When you consider we're over here. In terms of everyone else, I think we've all moved, haven't we? Is this uh, Norway's garrison? Oof. God damn, Norway. That is that is some weak garrison you've got there, my friend. But we should be bringing some more of these boys down there when we can. We can't retrain any of those boys yet. And it's only a few turns until we can uh, train some more elves. So it's not actually that long compared to some of the other elven units. It's really not that long to try and train those boys. That looks to me like it's Dolgador. So that looks like the last Easterling settlement. And when that happens, all the rest of these Easterling armies will become rebels, which is a bit annoying because they could actually try and siege down one of the settlements. Um, but we're just going to have to be wary of that, aren't we? We're just going to have to be a bit wary uh, of that. So, let's end the turn. I, I will also say we'll do a Toggle Fog of War. We're on episode 10. We'll do a Toggle Fog of War at the end of the video, guys. So we can see how the AI is doing. Notoriously well. But we can see how the <laughs> how the good factions are doing uh, versus the bad factions. Also, I'm very sorry to all you elf lovers out there for my la for my for my hatred of elves on the last uh, the last episode. Um, I don't think I explained myself very well, to be honest, listening back to <laughs> oh, so they are going after Mataram. What filthy bastards. We have quite a bit of garrison in Mataram, though. It also stops Mataram rebelling. <laughs> uh, which is good. You know, that is good. Uh, <laughs> and it's probably just some orc, just absolute rabble. <laughs> so, good luck sieging us down, bro. I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure. I've said that before, though, haven't I? You know, I, I was saying that it was really easy to take out the Easterlings, and then it suddenly wasn't. <laughs> All thanks under siege. Oh my god, the good factions are, are really winning this, <laughs> it looks like. Although Lorien's under attack. Oh, we just left Lorien. What? Well, I spoke too soon again. <laughs> Karasant now has the Merchant's Wharf, which it can't use. <laughs> As soon as they do that, every time, it just destroys our income. Where are you going? Because I want to find you and kill you. Surely we can just block them off here. Like, if we just stop there, I don't think. Unless they've got anyone else. It doesn't look like they've got any more. It should be a bit better. Yeah, it's 7,000. It's, 7, uh, it's not made that much of a difference. Admiral Thror is a fine officer. Glorious. Um, but anyway, let's get this guy. Uh, and let's go talk to Khand. The good people of Khand. So yeah, we've got a Thorn Guard in here, guys. Nothing can get through a Thorn Guard. Especially not Orc Scouts. <laughs> so I don't see what they're trying to do there. Please tell me. Yes, let's get the Privateer Cavalry. Also, uh, I was hoping we could get some Faroon mercenaries potentially in here, but it doesn't look like it. We can go and stand on that bridge and see whether they'll uh, they'll be baited into attacking. But I don't think they've got that much here, have they? Uh, you know, this Cargo Core over here, the new... I believe that's a new settlement. We're already in the back of Mordor, guys, and we're, we're only 10 turns in. We do still need to take out the Eastlings, though, that is something that we need to do. Also, hello, army. I kind of want to wait and just fight them on the field because I I don't think that they will 
actually try and siege this down. Because I don't think they'll think they'll win. Which is right, because they won't. What actual unit is in there? Just Dolgador archers. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem. So I kind of want to just fight these guys on the field. Because I, I can't be bothered with them, you know, messing around and trying to siege us down and all that sort of thing. Uh, I know sallying out. Sally out battles are just the worst. <laughs> like, they're the worst type of battle. My least favorite type of battle to do. Right, you guys, we need you to come down this way, the safe way, to try and get all the way to Norway, who's all the way over here. <laughs> Not in a great position, Norway, are you, my friend? We have maybe overextended your reach slightly. <laughs> Only slightly, though. <laughs> I do want to get some of these guys back for retraining. Because look at the uh, experience they've got. Very nice. I know experience in the mod is not quite as powerful as some of the other mods. But powerful nonetheless. You can get Ballista there. Nice. Yes. Is there any mercenaries available for Norway? No. No mercenaries for Norway. Nothing for Norway. Oh, very sad. Thorn Crossbowman, you can actually join them. Uh, and right, let's see what we want to build. You see communal farming there. That's going to spend all our money. Great. Uh, Enma half, you got anything for me? No. Uh, Austin Aries building. Varfest is building. Dorthaloo's building. Actually, quite a lot of places are building. Karasant isn't. Let's get the leather tanner in there. Might as well. M most places are building. That's quite good. Just a couple that aren't. That's fine. Great. Right. Let's end the turn again. Ah, forget about you. Oh, hey, Rockberg. Nice. Hey, guys. How you doing there, Rohan? You beating Isengard? I mean, <laughs> last time it looked like Isengard was pretty much done. I don't know. When we did the Toggle Fog War, it looked not like they were done. They'd expanded west loads and not east, which is a very weird tactic <laughs> for Isengard. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Why? So it's no surprise that, you know, they are under attack. We oh. We might lose Varfest here. I need Gondor to put some pressure on the Black Gate so they can't send armies out from there anymore. I guess we'll or I guess we'll find out when we do the Toggle Fog of War whether they are or not. Or we could put pressure on the Black Gate, but, you know, we got other problems to worry about. Namely Dolgador, and we are invading Mordor from the back as well, so, you know. Varfest, the Weaponsmith Guild. Uh, Varfest? Not really, I don't want that there. Uh, Merway, the the Gossip. Let's talk, let's trade. Well, don't hold you at ransom, fool. Trade is good. I don't hold you at ransom either for that. We're fighting orcs, my friend. You want 1,400 for my map information, for map information for you. What do you possibly have, information-wise, that I need, bro? Well, they'll take, uh, they'll give me 800 anyway. <laughs> That's at least okay. Uh, and we built a lot again, which is good. But yeah, we do really need to f kind of focus on this economy for a little bit. We've got a lot of armies out in the field, costing us a lot of money. I wonder whether we could just use this army to try and siege siege the capital down. Relieve some pressure on Norway. What is this army? It's Gur, Gur Krog the Fearless. And isn't he a pretty boy? And he has to fight... These guys, it just really, whether we win that or not, just really depends on that second unit. If it's just some, like, orc scouts, I think we can still win. But if it's something else, then maybe not. What's this as well? That's going to be hard to beat back. So, luckily, we are on the way there. Uh, Mataram's still getting siege down. That's fine. They are bringing armies around this way. And Dolgador, as expected... Oh, wait. I don't think... I'm going to take some ladders as well, but I don't think that... You know, that large encampment for orcs 
is anything other than just a wooden wall. Um, so, yeah, I think rams is the way to go. Yes, my lord. I mean, they're coming. I mean... We only lost three men. So, that was worth it. An auto-resolve that didn't go badly. Wow. Good. And we're still predominantly Northmen, which is great. So let's get... I think we'll get that Standing Stones in there straight away, just to bump up. Oh, we got some Moriquendi Protectors as well. Boys, yes. Well, you're going to go all the way down there. <laughs> this is why we need to shore up our, you know, unit production routes. So, like, down here, do we have... It's only a town. That's a bit of a problem. They need to upgrade... Because if we look at the building browser and go to uh, barracks, if I'm not blind. There we are. Yeah, we can only get the Thorn Armory, which doesn't give us any Elven boys. Does allow us, you know, a bit though. How far until we can upgrade? 5,000. And we're only at 1% growth. 5,000 here as well. Hmm. So it's probably looking at trying to make less... And Mistrand and Strondost into a bit of a better sort of recruitment hub. Well, we got the Avari barracks here. What are we talking about? But we can we not? Oh, it's only a wooden castle. Yeah, it's not a stronghold yet. To get the Avari armory. Um, how much? It needs 6,000. Well, the Avari barracks are quite good. <sighs> ah, this is painful. I know I've just said I need to focus on the economy and stop recruiting units, but. <laughs> and it's a big but. If we have unit pools on these guys and we've only got a, a single unit pool, we've got to recruit them every time they come up so that we can, you know, get through them as quick as possible. In fact, you should probably just go into Strondost and then we can send an elven contingent down there to deal with them. You need retraining, uh, apparently. Cool. I think we're in a good position. So let's end the turn. Let's see what these uh, Dolgador fools do. We can accept, accept that now. See what Dolgador does. I, I'm assuming they will just run away. Like the cowardly mole rats they are. No, Mirkwood rats. <laughs> the cowardly Mirkwood rats will run from us. Yes. Very good. But anyway... um. Yeah, we're, do we're, doing we're doing decently. We're just a, a bit spread out, aren't we? Oh, here we are. Gukrog. And he brings Orc Archers. That's all he brings. Well, Harfast. Now is the time to stand and fight, my friend. Stand and fight. So, let us see how we do. I'm assuming it looks like it's just wooden walls. So, I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. And what I'm actually going to do is put Harfast on the wall... To fight these boys. Because these guys are manning the ram. And, you know, worst case scenario, they run to the town center. And then we've got a, a while to fight them. But fighting these guys with the ladders on the walls is a, a much more effective way of fighting them. We're going to do a lot more damage to that Uruk bodyguard. If we actually pause for a second. We have high paladins. 1018. And as a 1425. 1425, not quite armor piercing. Uh, these guys are actually effective against armor. How much armor do we have? 14. Ooh. So we've only got 11 defense skill. But we're still better. We're still better. 10 attack versus 14 attack. Yeah, we're, we're just still better. It's just whether we've got enough to kill both of them. Well, are you going to go over here now? Well, let's get through. Hoping we manage to burn down the ram as well. That would, you know, make a big difference to this whole battle. So. Yeah, just just spread out a bit, guys. <laughs> there we are. Just get there. Yeah, there we are. That should be a lot better. And we didn't manage to destroy the ram. That's quite annoying, but I'm sure we'll still do fine. Keep it on two times speed. Let's see how quickly we manage to fell this Uruk bodyguard. Kill them. They hopefully won't get enough like get enough people on to start actually making 
putting damage into our boys. Oh my god, you just shot your own man, Tower. Stop doing that. It's quite equal now. Very equal, in fact. But they're, they're kind of stuck. And when we kill the general, that'll be quite... Oh, this is... This is really close. We're going to be down to like a single man, bro. And now they're firing. They're going to do a lot of friendly fire, but... Come on, guys. I thought you'd be better than some filthy Oryx. You're high paladins, for God's sake. Especially them coming up on the walls. Surely we've, we've taken enough hit points out of the rest of these guys that we can kill them now. Come on. We're going to lose. No. I thought we'd be okay. I thought the Auric bodyguard would be... Would be rubbish. It's actually not that bad. Come on, guys. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, we managed to kill a few of them now. Come on, we really can't afford to lose many more if we're going to try and... Okay, good, 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 good. They're still eager. God damn it. Kill him. We'll put it down. Right, now we need to charge this orc archer. Oh, no, not down the ladders, you fools. You absolute imbeciles. Like, I don't think we win. Like, we've, take, we've taken too much damage. Like, these guys, seven of these guys versus this Orc Archer. It's just not going to happen, is it? Six now. Rally rally the boys. Rally the boys. Let's go. If it was skin changers, then yeah. But because it's these guys, it's not going to happen. Maybe? I oh, no. It, it just can't. They've got ten times the amount of troops. Ten times. Now they're actually starting to fight us, which is not helpful. No, now our general's dead. Half fast. Half fast, my boy. It's not quite enough. They're shaken, though. They're shaken. Just killing these guys in the middle of the thing. Two, two boys left. Two boys left. Doing all they can. They're firing arrows into their chest. This is a Boromir situation. A single man, and he routes. Oh, come on. Oh, God damn Mordor! Bloody Morgul rats killed us! Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are. And God damn it, half ass. I'm embarrassed for you. Not for myself, of course, you know. Wasn't my mistake, but. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Oh, more Morgul rats to deal with. God damn. No! <laughs> no is the answer, but this, you know, this should be. They have got trolls. <laughs> I was going to say, this should be easy. I mean, again, no cavalry for them. Which is very nice for us with our new privateer cavalry regiment. And Avalyn, on the battlefield, this man's will is always realized. He's a true master of warfare. Whereas these guys, this man could not wet himself at the notion he should be in charge at all. This man would wet himself. Oh, God, I was going to say. But anyway, let's see you on the battlefield, guys. So here we are on the dark desolate plains of Mordor and doesn't it look fantastic yes really hard to see where the battle map is to be honest <laughs> what I'd quite like to do is just take this little hump here uh, or this one a bit too close to them Ooh, bit of a jive going let's go boys <laughs> jiving time for Mordor like very appropriate an appropriate Mordor jive. This is going to be what the boys are, uh, you know, dancing to on top of the piles of dead orcs after they have slaughtered them in their thousands. Um. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think they've got too many missile men. Uh, so we'll get, we'll go the swordmasters on that side this time, and we'll get you boys. They are orcs. So, as usual, they'll probably just charge head on, which is always great for us. And we'll go left side because I think their second army's coming in from the right. Now, Avalyn, my friend, you get there. We'll group you up. We'll also group the cavalry up. Um, and, yeah, we'll get you there. Oh, no, they're actually coming in from the left. 
That's fine. We need to go and shoot at the trolls. <laughs> the Avari Naharim are a very good archer unit, so they shouldn't have too much of a problem shooting at trolls. Uh, they should be able to take down a few. I don't like the fact that their, you know, archers are there firing back at us. I don't want to charge with the trolls just there. I do not want you firing at Will either. I want you firing at trolls, guys. And keep moving. Cantabrian Circle, trolls. Two things we should be doing. <laughs> They're just waiting for their boys to come in. You know, you attack me, bro. Go and attack me. If you want champ, I'll give it, yep. Yeah. yeah, we're doing a bit of damage to those trolls. I just want to whittle them down before they get, you know, towards the Athala Rangers and the Avari Shadows. So that hopefully they can be taken out pretty much before they reach the lines. Got to be careful we don't get sandwiched here as well, of course. Fire at the goddamn trolls, boys. Not the archers. The archers are pointless. We'll take them out with our cavalry in no time. But the trolls, not so pointless. Quite strong. Let's come forward. Keep coming. I'll get up here. And then fire at the trolls. Yeah, this is going to take a bit of uh, delicacy, I've got to say. So we might take our time with this one. Take our time. Go on, boys. Come on. God damn Mordor taking Varfest. Shocking behavior. Not happy at all. Oof. Oh, well. That's what happens when you overextend yourself, isn't it? God. Trying to be uber aggressive. And it is good being uber aggressive, you know. You take a lot of territory very quickly. But then when you get overextended, that's when uh, problems start to arise. And the trolls are starting to fall. Now, that isn't a problem. That is a fantastic solution to the troll problem. One of them's not damaged. I don't know how he survived this long without getting hit. Too many times. What are you? Orc archers go in for it. Go on, the boys. Yeah, the orc archers. <laughs> Thinking they're going to do some serious damage or something, but in reality, nothing of the sort. Can't even fire at them yet. What about the shadows? No. I have to get it quite a lot closer. Fire at them. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to outflank us in any way. Now you can fire at the trolls. Do so. Just get rid of them and then you can fire at will. This army's going to come in separately. And it's, you know, the one that's just got full of maulers. And a Morgul Chosen and, like, some filthy orc band or something. Come on, boys. Here come more arrows. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't think we're going to have a problem with the, the trolleyos. Uh, well, what I do need to do, though, is get you guys over across to this side. Get going. You guys are actually done. The trolls... Yeah, the trolls are dead now. The trolls are dead. Deaded. I don't like the Moran and Guard chasing after us. That's a bit annoying. But here come the rest of the foolish, foolish men. Foolish orcs, should I say, of Mordor. What are you doing, bro? Just go away. <laughs> You're not wanted or needed, my friend. Not wanted or needed. Ooh, sick burn, bro. Right, let's go. Um, let's charge them. Just keep firing. I'd say probably best option now. Yeah, is the Black Auric Halberds. Now get out. Now we charge them. And they're already wavering. Shocking. <laughs> Who would have thought orcs would run away? That, that Moran and God is pissing me off. Go away. We don't want you. Well, you guys, you guys are just crazy bastards. You just want to fight. Kind of want to wait till this army comes in till we deploy our flanking boys, but it's probably not worth it. 
You guys might as well, you know, fight the Black Auric Halberds as well. You guys can charge in. You guys come back. Where's my Avari Narah Naharim? Uh, that guard is just shit, isn't it? What is it doing? Just being shit. As usual. Standard orc behavior. We'll group you back up now. Go for the charge, boys. Big charge coming up. That orc host is going to get absolutely decimated. Yeah, there we are. Absolutely decimated, like I said. Let's kill those orc archers. Right, Avari, Avari, Avari out. We'll probably destroy this uh, this whole army before the other one even arrives. I don't know why the game thinks that they're, you know, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know, they, they had the upper hand, but spoiler alert, they, they don't. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Oh, come on, Avari. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. We ain't fighting that spear unit head on, bro. We want just one little charge into these orc archers. Maybe get them to run away. They probably will come back before the end anyway. Uh, you get over here. And then what we're going to do. Turn around. Charge the black orc halberds. You guys, if you can, fire into the orc maulers. You go into the morgul chosen. Not awful units, but also not fantastic units. It's got to be said. These guys, where are you? You are struggling against the Black Auric Halberds, aren't you? I think it's time to charge them then. Get away from the Moran and Guard. No! Guys! Do these guys have charge without orders? No. No. <laughs> They don't have me charge without orders, so I don't know why they're charging into something different <laughs> than what I've told them to. Get those guys. And you boys. Yeah, you've broken them now. Let's get back over here so we can get ready for the second lot of uh, Orky boys. We did lose a few men there, I'm not going to lie. Especially in this center. Yeah, very, very... Very thin on the ground in the center again. Again, it's infantry that we're struggling with. This is the same thing that happened with Norway. Guys, get there quick, please. You guys need to, you know, turn around. So. Get there quickly. Again. Oh, guys, no. No, no, no. What are you doing? <laughs> are you taking the piss? <laughs> Come on. Guys. Guys. I'm fucking pressing over here. Jesus Christ. Hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? Avalyn, you fucking idiot, bro. <laughs> this is not where I pressed. Fucking hell, bro. God damn. They can be dumb sometimes. All right, let's go fight those orc maulers. And, uh, yeah, we're going to... Get round. Thorn guard, get in your spear wall. Always. Should get a nice little charge off on those boys. And we're going to come round as well. I don't know what... The Avari Naharim don't have the stat that they will charge without orders. But somehow, they just seem to like doing that. I don't know why. <laughs> Unless I... I don't think I missed it. Right, let's get... Leadership done. What is in there? Have they got some Black Auric Halberds that have come back? Let's get over there. See if we can spread them out slightly. You guys get round here. How many have we killed then? 62%. Still got a few to kill. Uh, right. You guys are a, are a group now. Because you're all idiots. <laughs> so get over there. If the Orc Band just want to do this... I have no problem charging an orc band in the face. You saw what happened in, uh... <laughs> um... In the two towers. Sorry, I, I just had a brain fart then. Ah, oh, good. Finally. 
That was an awful charge, bro. Come on. You guys didn't even charge either. You guys can you guys get a good charge. Come on, privateers. I've had enough of cavalry not listening today. To stop being a fucking idiot, bro. And what No! Are you kidding me? Avelyn has died! No! On the charge into Orc Band! Are you fucking kidding me? Avelyn dies charging Orc Band, bro. That's just... That's not on, is it? That is not acceptable way to die, Avelyn. I'm, I'm sorry. But you, my friend, you are an imbecile of epic proportions. An absolute imbecile. I, I, I can't even put into words how upset I am with you right now, Avelyn. I'm not going to lie. I charged you into Orc Band and you died, my friend. You died. <laughs> that is just embarrassing. At least one guy's got a good... One cavalry unit knows what's going on. Did I not tell you to charge? Oh, fucking hell, bro. What a terrible, terrible battle all around. Terrible. <laughs> Avalyn dies. Oh, goddamn. Terrible. Well, we might as well use him to chase down as many of these blobs as we can. Avalyn died charging orc ba- I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, what about our best general in terms of, you know... Is a replenishing horse. Is a replenishing replenishing horse archer unit, which is glorious. <sighs> Fuck that, bro. Fuck this battle. I don't care that we killed thousands of orcs. It doesn't matter because Avalyn is dead. <laughs> oh my god, what a what a what a horrible way to die without dignity at all, without glory. <laughs> Charging the, the, the lowest of the low. The lowest of the low. An orc band of all units. I think their stats are like one attack. <laughs> one attack and you died, Avalyn. Oh, anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. There is no price that I can accept for the death of Avalyn. You will be executed, my friends. And, uh, yeah, I think... I think like sack. Yeah, that's probably the best option. Oh my god. I still can't believe that. <laughs> Next orc band we come across, I'm looking at its stats because I'm sure it's got one attack. <laughs> and I thought he was, he was charging the side of them as well, wasn't he? He wasn't even charging them in the front. Ma here. What a boy. Yeah, that will take you. Um, I think with that done... They will back off from here as well. Problem we're going to have is, is garrisoning these places because they're going to be very, very upset. Don't need a brawler's pit. We'll have the carpenter's hut. Ration's hut is fine. We'll take that. It does give benefits. Butchery is fine as well. So this is... This is a minor city, bro. It's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, it's obviously going to be full. Oh, no. There's a bit of men of the eastern nomadic as well. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's got a few upgrades, which is nice. It's just not nice that it's Elanin. <laughs> Half fast died as well. Elanin, so Avalyn. Well, I think we need to rename the city. Uh, can we? Yeah. Av. Avalyn's rest, of course. Avelyn, my friend. Avelyn's Rest. Seems a fitting name. He died doing what he loved, fighting Orc Band. <laughs> Show me an Orc Band now, please. I, I can't... I, I, no question marks. We've seen them before. Let me know what they are, please. No question marks at all. Are these guys... Wait, these guys might have an Orc Band. No, they got Orc Scouts. Uh, maybe they've got two attack, you know? Two attack for the boys. 
Ah, pain. Much pain. Much, much pain. <laughs> right, should we just leave some Rovanian spearmen in here? It's not gone badly before when we've done something like that, has it? <laughs> I guess we should probably, like, try and get, like, a, an... Oh, it, it has an armory, does it? Or is that... That seems very expensive, that military garrison. Maybe they've been, you know, made more expensive. Uh, yeah, just get a grain exchange in here. Right, let's go and take revenge on the Easterlings, I think, is... Best thing for us to do right now is, you know, get through our pain by taking revenge on Easterlings. Yes, sounds like a good plan. A very good plan. Um, but yeah, Avalyn's rest. Oh, I just can't believe it, man. Why do these guys need retraining? Probably because of an armory. Oh, blacksmith. Nice, 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 nice. That'll help out a little bit. That's cool. Uh, how are we doing in Strondost? We're re recruiting some men. Where did we get that new general? That's one thing that we need to, to check out. I didn't actually look. I should have looked. Don't like how that Dolgador army is there. Uh, not in Ostineri. Not in Dorthalu. Obviously not in Varfest. Not in Emmahath. Not in Mataram. <laughs> not in Mistrand. Elgair. Come on. <laughs> Show me him. Wait, where is he? Where is he? Brother. Where have you... Where have you gone? Uh, That's Edward in. Austin Airy, maybe? I think we had people there before. Lest, no. Mistran, no. Elgaia, no. Mornithel. Oh, Mornithel. Cool. So, Mar here. Let's get you in. Where can we go with you? Maybe Bur That'll free up a Thorn Guard, which we know are glorious units. So, <laughs> let's free that up. Let's also try and help Austin area if it does get sieged down. Looks like they're, they're going for it. Would like some more guys to recruit but we are going to focus on the economy for a turn or so so carasant our glorious our glorious our most glorious of places let's go for the thorn armory now let's start really pumping out these elven troops where we can uh, let's go for chicken farming down here let's go for some cheap stuff so we can try and build in a few different places and hearth I mean, Enmahath needs... It's only a town, so... The barracks aren't going to be fantastic, but it will help out a little bit. Uh, you know, being able to train Bladesmen and the Thorn Guard and stuff. And that's plenty enough to fight Mordor with. Let's get a smoking house at Carverad. No, I think Leather Tanner, because it makes a bit more money. And then a Grain Exchange over here. And also, at the start of next video, we will come out and attack Captain Crackthorn. The crack addict, as he's known amongst his friends. Um, but, uh, are we... Yeah, diplomat. Uh, you've still got a few turns to go. Right, let's uh, let's toggle the fog of war, guys. And, uh, you know, this time, I'm not going to be too bothered about seeing things that are happening close to us. Because we kind of really, really know, don't we? Jesus Christ, Dolgador is an absolute chonker. Look at that! Wow! Dolgador is an absolute big boy right now. Fair play to them. Well done, Dolgador. Well, as we know, Easterlings do have one. But look at Mordor! Mordor took Sir... Um, Sir Luska... Sir... 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 <laughs> Sturlertzka Khan. Sturlertzka Khan. There we are. Can say it now. Once you've said it wrong once, it's so easy to say it wrong a few times. But I believe that probably were just from the Inquisitors. But it doesn't look like there's much Inquisitor action going on down here. But um, Harad have like actually come up and taken Krukmahor. 
which is bad for Khant, but it's bad for Harad that Ankaragmir is, you know, still under their protection. Oh my god, Gobble Merlond. Wow, Dol Amroth is doing fantastically. That's definitely helped out by the fact that, you know, Khand is probably not fighting them, and it doesn't look like they are. There's no troops around the borders around there or anything. So, well done, Dol Amroth. You are going to be sailing through. Let's have a look at Gondor then. How are they doing against... So I believe last time they were actually all the way up to Minas Morgul. So Mordor has pushed them back. The Witch King of Angmar is now in the fray. Good boy. Very nice. Good to see him out on the battlefield. Mordor, Gondor looks a bit confused here. That's, that's a lot of troops you've got, bro. A lot of troops that you've got just doing nothing. When you should be, you know, attacking them. But why is there a Rohan army here? What are they doing? Is that a... That might be a script. I don't know. Cheeky, cheeky Rohan coming all the way. They must have come across uh, the uh, the things of Rauros or what, whatever they're called. I can't remember. The Falls of Rauros? I, I don't know. Um, come across there. I've, yeah, I've just forgotten the name. And got stuck down here. But that's very weird. But anyway, we're quite a big boy as well, which is nice to see, you know, on the map. Dale is pretty much, at this point, pointless. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Dale? You have a big army. You just can't break through Dolgador, and that's kind of embarrassing. Um, Erebor is doing as Erebor normally does not very well. <laughs> they always, like, take these places down here because they get them for free, don't they, in the auto-expansion. But then after that... You know, it's just a stalemate with uh, Gundabad. Um, oh my god, the Woodland Realm have Withyboard as well. <laughs> so that might be why the Woodland Realm aren't really putting that much pressure on Dolgador. Oh my god. Wow. That guy is ugly even for, a, even for, a, uh, for an orc. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, but anyway, Woodland Realm not really doing anything as, as usual. Gundabad has, has consolidated. They've expanded and then they've hit up against the barrier of the uh, of Goblin Town, uh, of the Goblins of Moria. And because Dolgador and the Goblins of Moria have kind of hit uh, the Vale of Anduin, Vale of Anduin is, is screwed. Like, they have two settlements left. They do have a big fat army, which is very likely to be maybe a scripted army that's come in. Looks like it uh, with that guy. Aldor. Skin changes. But yeah, I don't think the Veil of Anduin is going to be around too much longer. They've got quite a few armies. They're just not using them very effectively, which standard AI. And uh, Lorien is doing terribly. Yeah. They've lost Edricon to, to, <laughs> to Dolgador. Really? Come on, guys. <laughs> You're elves. And you lost it to Dolgador. But then again, you know, I lost Varfest to some filthy Morgul rats, so. <laughs> but anyway, Goblins of Moria are doing quite well. Um, you know, Angmar is doing pretty decently. They haven't taken a Numenas yet, but it looks like they're going to take it very soon. Same with Deadman's Dyke. Look like it's probably going to be taken very soon. And once it does, you know, Bree is going to be easy pickings. That's going to be tasty little morsels for them to take. The Dunedain are doing terribly. What is wrong with you, Dunedain? You've not really done anything, have you? And you're going to lose your two biggest cities. But let's have a look. at. So uh, Dunland is doing pretty well. Uh, the elves over here are not doing what they normally do and just, just chilling and defending him, Ladris. Standard elves. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go into this again. <laughs> Standard elves not helping anyone out. <laughs> Classic. Um, the only real sort of... Uh, it looks like... So it looks like the north and, and sort of central regions. East of the Misty Mountains. It's kind of mixed down in the south. The good people seem to be winning. Up in the north, the bad people seem to be winning. But then, you know, over here, 
in the West, I can't really see the good guys holding out for too long. You know, obviously the elves will because they're they're really good. Um, and I think Ered Lewin didn't take the ring, right? So, yeah, Ered Lewin is still fighting uh, Angmar. So that might slow Angmar down a little bit, but probably not too much. Ered Lewin's never really that strong. Buzzra Doom and... Uh, Karis Nurnaled are not even taken yet. <laughs> and there's Enidwyth. So I think Enidwyth probably at war with Bree. If Bree can, like, mop up Enidwyth quickly, they might be in with a chance of fighting Angmar. But, yeah, it doesn't look too good for Angmar, does it? Same thing for Isengard. We did, they did say the Orthanc was under siege. Yeah, Isengard's screwed as well. Isengard is absolutely fucked. Rohan has done very well. Rohan's done a lot better than normal. So maybe they'll come north and help out against Dolgador. Very much doubt it, but, it, you know, it might happen. But that is the Toggle Fog of War, guys. We've had a look at everyone, how they're doing. We're doing pretty decently. Just a couple of setbacks every now and then. But we're still expanding, slowly but surely. And hopefully we can take out the goddamn Easterlings once and for all. <laughs> once and for all. Because, yeah, they deserve to be taken out. Uh, and yeah, we've got some very nice armies around. We just need to get using them a little bit better, I think. Uh, and sorting our economy out. But anyway, that has been it for today. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.